thrilled to be a guest on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Squamish, Sewatooth, and Musqueam people. And I acknowledge the traditional territories that all of you are on today as well. The National Inquiry. We started on September 1st, 2016, and our mandate ended on June 30th, 2019. Our terms of reference were quite lengthy, but I think they can be summarized as this. We had to inquire into all systemic causes of all types of violence against Indigenous women and girls and 2S people. Then, of course, we had to make recommendations to end that violence. And we also had to make recommendations about ways to commemorate our lost loved ones all across Canada. In total, we heard from almost 2,400 people in hearings that were held from coast to coast to coast. We heard from family members of lost loved ones, survivors of violence, elders, traditional knowledge keepers, academics, those who are involved in service delivery at the front line. Uh, we also heard from many people with lived experience. Some family members and survivors of violence shared their truths, their experiences with us in public. Others shared in private because of the very sensitive nature of what they wanted to share with us, as I'm sure you can imagine. Many family members and survivors told us that their missing persons reports to the police were ignored or discounted. They were met with responses such as, well, she's just likely out partying and she'll be back in a few days. Then if a file was opened, it was closed pretty soon thereafter with little or no apparent action. Family members and survivors told us about children who were removed from their mother's care due to a, a alleged neglect. But the mothers weren't neglectful. They were simply poor. And they were unable, as a result, to stock their refrigerator, if they had one, or their kitchen cupboards, with foods that a non-Indigenous social worker would recognize and understand. In the National Inquiry's final report, we called for all Canadians to educate themselves about the true history of Canada, to call out racism, to call out sexism, homophobia, and transphobia whenever and wherever it occurs. We called on all Canadians to read the existing reports like the National Enquiry's reports, but the TRC report, and all of the myriad of other reports that have been written about Indigenous people in Canada. We called on all Canadians to hold all governments, including Indigenous governments, to account. We called on all Canadians to start to decolonize their way of thinking. And we called on all Canadians to share their new knowledge, their true knowledge, with others. Education knowing the truth, hearing the truth is important because we'll start to learn about each other's humanity. We will be able to see systemic racism for what it is. We will be able to move past the incorrect and negative assumptions and stereotypes and move towards humanity. So here's some questions for you. What are you doing to educate yourself about the, in, the Indigenous people? Who live next to you? Who are your neighbours? Do you follow indig Indigenous media outlets? Do you read Indigenous authors? And there are some fabulous ones, I'll tell you, both fiction and non-fiction authors. Do you wear an orange shirt or a red dress? one day a year, and then put one or both of them and the humanity they represent back in a drawer. Now, turning especially to Indigenous people, 
What are you learning about your language, your culture and traditions, so that you can help to strengthen not only yourself, but your family and community, so that you can help not only yourself, your family and community heal and find strength. I want to urge you to ask yourself and others all of these questions. How do we build healthy relationships based on trust? How do we redefine our community based on inclusion and trust and humanity? By learning, recognizing, and respecting each other's humanity by being inclusive of our neighbors as equals, by putting community at the center of our discussions, our relationships. You know, we once and for all, we have to move away from us versus them, me versus you, to us. I urge you to redefine your relationships and your communities by being advocates for humanity, for everyone. Remember, one person can make a difference, and that one person is you. Thank you.